guitar player and keyboards. I'm Ellis and I play the bass. Yeah, I'm Al KZ, so I'm a drummer slash vocalist as well. Great, excellent. Well, most Long Islanders are definitely familiar with Steel Wolf. For that small select few who aren't, can you summarize it for us, Mark? Summarize Steel Wolf? Well, we've had a 20 year history. Uh, this lineup has changed several times, but uh, we're like all for one, one for all kind of thing. We've had a revolving door policy. People come in the band and then they've left and they've come back. And uh, whatever lineup is uh, needed to make that statement for that uh, time period is the one that uh, is still with that moment. Uh, and, uh, you know, we've, we've made several releases, uh, CDs, cassettes, and the biggest of those being the, the Boozer Friendly. Yeah, uh, yeah, I remember that. That made Long show. Island Sound's top ten artist of the year. Yeah, 1998, that's right. That was wow. uh, thank you to that. That was the pleasure. It was our pleasure. So what has gone on with uh, Boozer Friendly Tour since then for Steel Wolf? Mike, can okay. you Okay, uh, yes. Uh, as soon as Boozer Friendly was released, we wanted to go out there and promote the album as best as we could. Uh, we played a number of gigs in uh, Long Island area, uh, Dr. Shea's, uh, Castle Heights, um, the most memorable concert that I think we played at was a uh, place in Vermont. It was a Lithuanian uh, a religious camp, uh, Nettinga. Uh, it was a camp basically for uh, young kids from age 7 to about 16. And we played for a couple of hundred of these kids that are not used to hearing our type of music. However, due to be it being a religious uh, kind of place, we had to tone down our material quite a bit and not play our aggressive, our raunchiest material we had to leave um, and we were um, subjected to playing a lot of covers but it was a lot of fun a good experience for the band and it was a lot of fun for the kids. What about that old man? Uh, he was funny at the end of the night uh, he so was singing like a cook or something. Yeah he was singing should I stay or should I go which is one of the covers that we had done that night by The Clash and oh, he had a god long live Joe's drummer. Yeah right right yeah. Sounds like a lot of special moments here. Oh, absolutely. Yes, for absolutely. the children as well. Absolutely. Excellent. Great. So with all of these live recordings and so forth can you tell us a little bit about some of the the releases that you've had Mark? Well we, we, from those concerts we did mm -hmm. two live, two live albums. One was Lounging Live 2 uh, which was really special because we got to use a lot of the radio interviews that we got to that we did and we put them on the album and dispersed uh, in between the live cuts. And then we had Night of 2000 Cold Do Night come out, which Mike has displayed on his t-shirt there. And, and that was special because it contained the first ever That's performance me. of that the, was right uh, our thrash operetta, The Perfect Solution. Oh my God, The Perfect Solution. Wow. Every time I listen to it, the overture just moves me to tears. Wow. <laughs> That's like one uh, of my favorites. Thank you. Thank you. Now, are you crying? No. <laughs> are you crying in joy or are you crying because we have the audacity to release it? <laughs> a little of both. Well, Alice, let's Wait, let's wait. Let's of course, it came with the booklet, too. So that yes. was funny, you know, with the, the yes. photos. So, yes, uh, yes. Well, <laughs> let's shoot to Alice here. Alice, uh, okay, yes. after the, hello, <laughs> after uh, the Boozer Friendly, that's when you sort of merged, right? You became... Uh, a full-fledged member, you're, you're playing with your bass. Can you tell us a little bit about that experience? Yeah, I came in, uh, I came into Steel Wolf about, right about the time they wanted to start touring for, uh, Boozer Friendly, so I learned all the songs pretty fast, I guess, and, uh, we started touring, it was a lot of fun, because we played, like, a total of eight shows, not including the one in, uh, Vermont, in about two months, and, uh, we had a lot of fun doing it, and it was a lot of fun. What about that bass playing? Was it kind of neat just to get out there for the masses to relish in? Yeah, all my friends, you know, they were interested in what, uh, what new band and what kind of music, you know, it was, and they all dug it pretty well, and, you know, they're all fans now, and they can't wait. But you used the five-string bass, right? Well, where the previous bass player used the four-string bass. Well, yeah, they, you know, there's one most, uh, the extra string is a low string, it's B string. You know, I use a lot, but most of the stuff I just thought to what was on the album. Mark, why don't you tell us about uh, the other live recordings? Other live recordings? Uh, well, I or other live releases that... Uh, no, well, they, I, think, I think I know what you're referring to. We didn't have any other live releases, but the other release okay. was the compilation we did, okay. which was uh, After 20 Beers. All right. right <clears throat> which right. was which is really special because it came out for our 20th anniversary, and it had... Uh, it was like a greatest hits kind of thing. That yeah, I'll have to get my hands on that copy, <laughs> definitely. It had stuff from all the lineups. Uh, 
Uh, that Steel will never have. So that was kind wonderful, of cool. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, yeah, we got a copy, I think. And what about the several steel? dozen copies just sit around? What about the Steel Wolf documentary? Oh, How did great. you tell our viewing audience about that? Well, uh, actually, the Steel Wolf documentary uh, was quite an event. Uh, it's quite a piece of art, I should say. Um, it was basically a documentary summarizing the band's 20-year history. And what was really neat about it was that it contained all of the members, past and present, in the right. in the video. Nice. And it shows Very us nice. at our ludists, our crudists, and having the most fun. Best hits moment. Oh, absolutely. Well, now, you know, if it, if it showed, us, showed us at our ludists and crudists, it would have to be... Uh, and it isn't, so I would say it's <laughs> semi rudest oh, semi ludist okay. You get a picture of the band, you get an yeah, idea of so um, what's the deal. If you want the real uh, lou, then you got to come see us live. Oh, that's true. Well, that sounds so like a great get, invitation. Get How can you pass it up? Well, why don't we move on to Al? Because Al is going to bring us up today Al. with the latest patient. news. Yes, Al. <laughs> All right, Al, you've well, been with Steel Wool from the very beginning. In some way, right. Can you tell us about that? Well, yes, I will, actually. <laughs> uh, my brothers were in the band uh, uh, when it originally started. The original lineup was three of my brothers, actually. Right, uh, and and right and yes. And at the time, uh, I did begin to play. Uh, I've been interested in playing drums. And uh, one thing led to another. Uh, Bring us into your membership. In, into now, how did you join this lineup? This lineup. Oh, this lineup. Oh, um, I was at time at uh, that uh, bachelor party, the golf outing we had for Paul, right? Paul Norris? Paul Norris, yeah. Once. Well, we actually, yes, we actually played. Once a what, what was the previous member of the band mm -hmm. for a short time? For a short time. And, Very uh, short time, about five yeah. minutes. Right. <laughs> but <laughs> but he, <laughs> officially for five minutes he was. Okay. Yeah, but uh, he uh, brought to, uh, he just came up to me and asked me, I think I was about ninth hole, whatever hole it was, and uh, whether you'd like to play with us. This is a conversational piece that we right. talk about, and uh, uh, I didn't really say anything yet, but uh, then after about a year, I get a call from, from Mark, and he asked me to play, and I said, why not? I wasn't doing anything. I was, mm -hmm. I was still playing. I wasn't having no band association, so I decided to come down, rehearse <coughs> with, the, with the guys, and collect them. The rest and, is history, right? And the cool yeah. thing is, is that... Why were you here <laughs> talking to you? Al, and me, and, you both, Al and me are both drummer vocalists. So the cool thing with adding him to the band now has given me an opportunity to be out front right. singing, options, and sure. him, can, he can sing and drum, and we can, you know, make a revival. It's a nice dynamic to the band, too. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the first time that the, we've had, a, uh, Steve Wolf's had a front man just singing alone. Uh, correction. Oh, oh dude. Now, Ed Kizis was originally sure. a front man, but that was only for 1982 to 1984. So that might even not be in some... That was before there. my time, so... Right, right. So. <laughs> well, now, let's yeah. talk about now. Only a hermit wouldn't be aware that you guys have been in the recording studio for a while, right? That's Working right. on your new album. Let's talk about the new album. A Ellis, why don't you bring us up to date on that? Well, our new album, it's uh, called Midnight Train to Sholay. I believe Sholay is a city in Lithuania that uh, is famous for its crosses and... Sometime and uh, I don't know the whole story, but that's it. Well, it was good right there. It was good. Right. It was good. <laughs> and uh, you know, we, we started on October twentieth of nineteen. I mean, two thousand two. Yep, two thousand two. Been a uh, long night, right? It's been a long night. <laughs> what time is it? The first night. It's good night. First night we haven't played a show. And, right, you know, right, can't right, tell right. offhand. <laughs>
don't you give us and our viewing audience at home uh, the latest? Uh, well, this year my wife and I will be celebrating our 10th anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you. My son Clark uh, will turn five this year. My daughter Lindsay will turn two this year. And uh, those are the key personal updates in my life. So. Sure. What about you, Al? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, not too much to add, but, you know, I'll be uh, all these single ladies out there uh, Friday nights at Croxley's. So. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I will be celebrating our fifth uh, wedding anniversary actually in May uh, and my son Andre will be uh, four years old also in May and I'm looking forward to having the new album put out. That's about it. Excellent. Well look, many, many thanks to you all for Thank this you. wonderful, thanks wonderful Thank interview. you, Izzy. Yes. Izzy! Yes. Izzy. Yes. Izzy rocks! <laughs> the Long Island Sound loves Steel Wolf. I love Steel Wolf. And stay with me next week because we're too. going to uh, bring you Shantae Harris, uh, a local here in Long Island, who is finally oh, getting right. some yeah. major label attention. Well, right now we're going to go and we'll wrap up with another clip of Steel Wolf. Wrap up. Wrap up, wrap up. Wrap up. <laughs> wrap up. <laughs> so this is Isabella Songs of Long nice Island Sounds wishing you all a very good time. <laughs>
If you would like a transcript of the show, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Transcripts, P.O. Box 34, Farmingdale, New York, 11237. Be sure to include air date.